see here's what I'm talking about that's up flush and this is the bolt underneath that that holds it in position and when you tighten that up it jacks that out <laughs> I discovered what the problem is um, I haven't quite decided how to fix it yet I've discovered the problem with the banjo um, at some point in its life it's become bent right here bent back here just a little bit so this this whole piece here is bent down I'll have to decide how to fix it I'll probably have to put it in the press and gently straighten it a little bit another problem is this repair that was done if you notice on this side this piece of bra or bronze that's put in there is recessed a little bit and over on this side it's proud it sticks out just a little bit so I don't know if this was bent when they tried to fix it or I don't, I don't know what I don't know what happened but I do know that I need to fix it for this thing to work right so my thinking is is I'm gonna press this out I don't think it's I don't think it's soldered or nothing so I'm gonna press this out and then the next thing I need to do is straighten this so that it's as flat as I can get it and then figure out what I need to do with this after it's straight I don't know if the you know if the bottom of the hole if it was bored crooked the bottom of the hole might not be straight so that's, that might be why this is see it sticks out there and it's recessed over here so something needs to be done with this banjo before uh, this lathe can be used again yeah I was right I took a I, hold on I took a, a block of wood and a hammer and this this was just in there kind of snug it just it didn't uh, it wasn't hard to get out a um, couple of problems I discovered is if you look on the, on the inside of this ring right okay if you can see it there see the bottom lip of this ring on the inside it's been hitting when this thing goes together put this together see this thing doesn't go in flat it rocks a little bit well it binds up right down here on the inside there's not enough clearance on this ring it should only pile it on the outside of this I think it shouldn't pile it on both but it doesn't it there's not enough room for it to clear so it binds up right there the other problem is the, with the banjo is it's shallower here than it is here probably because it was bent or something when they when they bored this thing out so I'm gonna need to first straighten this and then I'm gonna need to cut some relief in the bore of this piece and then that should have the, the banjo itself back where it will uh, function properly we will see how that works out
Okay, I got this brass ring uh, fixed. It doesn't stick out uh, inside anymore. Now, the problem I have is just the bent banjo. It took me a minute to figure out what was going on because with I'll tighten this up so you can see. Okay, with it tightened up, it it pulls it out, right? The perplexing problem was it's also bent in at the same time. This uh, piece of brass isn't the same thickness everywhere. So even though it's when I pull it down it pulls the top out it's still bent down here you can see the little gap down at the bottom of the scale so I'm gonna my next prob project is I'm gonna stick it in the press and I'm gonna try to bend it across here down ever so slightly to get rid of this little gap right here that way when you tighten up that bolt it's up flat against the face of this uh, lathe i checked the flatness of the lathe itself and it's the whole front face of this is flat so that's not my problem it's this banjo that i need to uh, play around with a little bit more here's a setup um uh, turning or pushing against a piece of like plastic and I got something pushing right where I want it to bend put a piece of paper in between so I don't mar up the surface and it's got a little bit of pressure and it's reversed a little bit so I'm gonna try that and we'll see how it looks on the lathe okay that's about as good as I can get it There's a teeny, teeny tiny little gap there, but it's not much. It's maybe ten thousandths, but it, I can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can push it in with my thumb. I've been playing with this for about two and a half hours, pressing it and tweaking it and pressing it and tweaking it, and it's, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't think it's going to get much better than this. The, this brass is really soft. I managed to, I managed to straighten it without bunging it up. So, okay. At this point, without remaking this piece, I don't think I can get it much better. There's a teeny little gap there still. But it's not anywhere as near as bad as it was. And when I when I tip it up, try to do this one-handed. When I tip it up, there's no gaps on either side. It's just right down here like this. There's a just a just a tiny little gap right there. Um, this piece of brass is so uneven. It measures different thicknesses all around um, but it is what it is so I got that part where I'm pretty happy with it um, like I said I don't think it could get much better unless I made it out of a new piece that was uh, the same thickness all over uh, this this piece I don't know if it's been like uh, polished up in the past and it's got thin spots in it from uh, where somebody polished it up and removed some metal from it it's worse right down right down here it's the thinnest it's probably 30 thousandths thinner or more than it is up here so the the top part really slopes in now before both sides were uneven but now the back side's pretty flat 
and this side's really sloped off. Anyway, um, off to the next problem.